And one of them uh, is Harry Mason. Now, he was in the Royal Army Medical Corps and arrived on the beaches of Normandy two days after D-Day. He described to me what it was like back then. Well, we came over on the boat and landed on the headland behind me, and we climbed up into the, uh, up the hillside, into a field at the top of the hill, and we established the uh, uh, part of the hospital on the canvas from there. Just describe what you saw as you came in. Well, as we came in, there was seemed to be quite a, a confusion, an organised confusion kind of thing. Uh, we were directed by the military police from the beach in the direction which they had worked out for us where we had to go. And then from there, as we climbed up uh, the hill, the German prisoners were coming down. We were told to keep to the hedgerow and the Germans were told to keep on the outside to come down. But they were only young boys. They appeared to be just school kids, really. And uh, we were surprised at their age. I mean, we were in our 20s, 25s, and we were seasoned. We'd been in the Middle East for three and a half years before we came over here. And these looked, looked like school children coming down. You have set up field hospitals. Yeah. You, you saw things that no man in their 20s should ever have to see. No, well, originally we were a general hospital. But when we came back from the Middle East, we trained for the psychiatric hospital. So we trained all the staff, the surgeons and the, uh, uh, <coughs> the medical staff were all transferred. And we had psychiatrists in, psychiatrists, nurses. But before then, we'd done our training we had done our training in Birmingham, a place called uh, Hollymore in Northfield. Seventy years on, what will be going through your mind as you, as, as you remember that day? Well, it's emotional, really, to see uh, what's happening now and the number of people that are really interested in what happened. And it's quite, it is quite emotional when they approach you and they ask you, the finest details of what happened. You're treated like pop stars on the beach, aren't you? You will get surrounded by young people wanting to know. That's right, even children. They're coming along and want to shake your hand and you want to take your photograph. And they'd be quite proud to come alongside you, which, you know, it, it is emotional to see the children interested in, in what happened.